So in today's video, we are going to talk about my Notion setup. Just to be clear, this is not a video about how to use Notion, how to use the features of Notion. This is my take on how I use it within my systems. I've been using Notion for about three years now. And one thing that I really like about it is the ability to kind of collapse all these other apps into Notion itself. So you can have boards, you can have lists, you can have gallery views, you can have all these different ways to view the same data and link back into it. And one area of my life that I struggled with before was kind of these idea of like a life OS or a life management system. So these might be checklists, high level planning items, those lists that you reference a lot, but they're not really a task list, they're not really a shopping list. Those are the type of things I think Notion is perfect for. I mostly use Notion in three different ways. The first is as a tool based upon its feature set. The second is for high level planning. And the third is for those life management or life OS related items within the system. The type of things that I don't put in Notion is usually those where another app has features that are better suited for that type of content. So for example, all of my recipes, I do not put inside of Notion. I use an app called Paprika because there's features specifically around recipe management, meal planning, there's timers, there's grocery shopping lists. Let's start with a tool. So Notion is great because it actually combines so many different features from other apps, such as Airtable, Trello, Google Docs, Pages documents, Numbers documents, and it makes itself really versatile to actually put everything into. So you're limiting the number of other apps that you use and you have everything in one place. So one example of this is I recently was doing an online course through Villanova and there was a lot of information to organize for it. So due dates, tests, quizzes, assignments, things of the sort. And I wanted to see it as a calendar view, but I also wanted to see it as a task list or be able to filter by week or by assignment type. And Notion was perfect to be able to organize that type of information. It kept me from having to utilize a calendar, a, you know, a Trello like system, putting a ton of things in different apps and documents everywhere. It housed it all in one place. So the second way that I use Notion is as a high level planning tool. So in my prior video, I talked about OmniFocus and how I use it for all the actions that I have immediately on my plate at that time. Notion is kind of where everything starts before it hits OmniFocus. So when I look at my annual, my quarterly, or my monthly planning, that's kind of all organized within Notion. It also has my Sunday items, my maybe items. I can kind of see what I have blocked out for every quarter of this year for projects. It will have goals. Um, those type of things are inside of Notion, and it's a much better format to work with that then when I'm actually ready to take action, that's when it migrates into OmniFocus. So I, I use Notion daily, but I really am in it at a monthly and a quarterly interval to actually mess with a lot of stuff. The other type of planning that Notion is good for is for those things that there isn't another good solution for. So for example, an editorial calendar, if you post to Instagram or you write blog posts, anything of that nature, it's a really nice format and layout to manage that type of stuff. I use it to plan workouts and plan activities. Um, you could use it for meal planning. I personally don't, but that's another way. So these areas of your life you need a plan that aren't task-based or calendar-based, so they're not going to go on your task system or on a calendar, but you still need to plan it. Notion is a really great tool because you can actually make it do what you want to do. A lot of times I find these other apps and I love the concept of what they have. And I think to myself, is it worth adding another app into my list? If it's not, I figure out how to build that feature set into Notion. Maybe I do end up with that other app, but Notion oftentimes can take a lot of the other apps or um, places where you would collect data and migrate it into just one central location. The other way that I use Notion is as a life operating system or a life management system. This is probably, I think everyone kind of has their own flavor or spin to this and other Notion videos that I watch. This is my favorite way to use Notion and what really clicked when I first started, um, you know, two or three years ago using this system. For me, I have a lot of like SOPs or checklists, things that I'm constantly accessing to perform a certain task. So if I 
do my morning routine or I do my startup routine or my shutdown routine. All of these have a ton of tasks below them. And it's not something I necessarily want to put in a task management system, but I do want to reference that list of information. And Notion's great for that because you can make it as a page. You can set up a table. You can add checklists. You can add toggles. You can add all these different ways to organize that data. I also use it to do things like my ideal day, what some of my like visions are for different areas of my life. I use that inside of Notion because it's one system to contain it. Prior, I would use things like pages documents. I'd put some stuff in numbers. I would put some stuff in a Trello board. I would have all these different sporadic places that the stuff would live. And so having it in Notion actually allows me to link into it, reference it a lot more. I can pull it into different areas of the system. It's just a really nice way to manage that type of content. It's not a, what's kind of trending now is like this personal knowledge management system or a second brain. I do not use Notion for that. A lot of people do. There's a lot of great videos out there. I don't, but the systems I do use for that, there's a little bit of overhead to get into it, to access something. So if I'm accessing something all the time, Notion is a much better system to do that with. So one example is I have something called a running list. And these are things like movie recommendations, book recommendations, places to eat recommendations. It's a lot of these like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm not going to do anything with it, but I want to store that piece of data. So I put it in what I call a running list. I keep our wish lists in here. I keep gift ideas in here. I keep our home project list. You know, if you own a home, it's never ending. There's always a new project or a new area you want to redo. If it's a massive reno, if it's a small little upgrade. So I have a board where I keep all those different ideas. I store the photos from inspiration, but I access that all the time. I might link into it for a project. I might link into it for a monthly task. So I like having that inside of Notion to do those type of things. So one of the other things that I put inside of Notion is someday and maybe, whether it be a task, a project, a goal. I have so many habits that I want to implement into my day. I cannot implement them all at one time. So I put them in here as a someday, like maybe I want to consider adding this as a habit and working on that. So when I sit down and I do those quarterly plans or those annual plans, I can reference that and say, what are all the things I thought of doing? Again, OmniFocus holds active, actionable tasks. Anything that is not active or actionable is going to go upstream in another system. So that's a high level overview of how I utilize Notion. Really, it's those three main things. I use it as a tool if the type of data I'm organizing is best fit for it. I use it for my high level planning. And then I also use it as a way to organize those life OS or those life management processes. So let me know if there's something else that you want to see from Notion on this. And thank you guys so much for watching.